into Portsmouth from Romsey Abbey, where it had lain all night, was brought the body of Countess Mountbatten. The Duke of Edinburgh and his mother, Princess Andrew of Greece, were at the quayside. The sadly bereaved Earl and his two daughters saw the coffin borne towards the frigate Wakeful. Eight chief petty officers were the bearers. It was the wish of Countess Mountbatten that when her time came, she should be buried at sea. They placed the flag-draped coffin on the quarterdeck, and Earl Mountbatten and the family party went aboard. It was a somber scene, in keeping with the most tragic event. Only a few weeks ago, Countess Mountbatten had rejoiced over the wedding of her daughter, and now she herself was no more. The frigate made her way out to sea. Edwina Mountbatten died in her sleep in Borneo. She was only 58. Over her remains, the Archbishop of Canterbury conducted the funeral service. At its conclusion, the body of the Countess was committed to the deep. The Earl cast his wreath upon the sea. Other tributes included one from the Queen and Duke. Twenty fathoms below the floating flowers lay the body of Countess Mountbatten. <laughs> 